The story started with Harding and Tessa getting married. But the truth is, Harding wasn't really into the idea. He had actually grown apart from Tessa. Later on, when Tessa found a book that Harding had written about their relationship after they broke up, she got really angry because he had published the book without asking her first. So, Harding and Tessa were in a relationship, but they decided to end it. Sadly, Harding found it really hard to cope with the breakup. He kept sending messages to Tessa, hoping to get back together, but Tessa made it clear that she had moved on and wanted Harding to do the same. Even though they were once a couple, Harding couldn't let go of the hurt from their breakup. Harding faced a tough time when Tessa was not around. It affected not just his personal life, but also his writing. Even though he got money up front from the publisher, he couldn't write anything for the book. Currently, Harding is in a club with his publisher, feeling really sad and drinking a lot. As he gets more and more drunk, he begins to imagine that Tessa is all around him, even though there's another girl dancing in front of him. So Harding had a hard time when Tessa wasn't with him, both in his personal life and in writing his book. He met with his parents the next day, and during their conversation, it came out that he was finding it really tough to write his new book. It was affecting his overall well-being. Harding explained that whenever he tried to write, his thoughts would always drift back to Tessa. He couldn't seem to concentrate on anything else when she was around. Concerned about his struggle, Harding's mom suggested that he take a short trip. She thought it might help improve his mood and clear his mind. Harding's mom shares with him a story about a girl named Natalie who they recently spoke to. This girl is currently in Portugal. After returning home, Harding can't stop thinking about Tessa, imagining she might be with someone else. The idea drives him a bit crazy, so he takes his mom's suggestion to heart and decides to go to Portugal to find out more. When he arrives, he meets Natalie in person, but she avoids talking to him because of a mistake Harding made with her a few years ago. Harding and his friends at the bar made a bet, and the challenge was for Harding to spend the night with a girl named Natalie. Harding managed to convince Natalie to spend the night with him, and they slept together. To prove he won the bet, Harding even recorded a video. Unfortunately, without Harding knowing, his friend shared the video online, causing it to go viral. Harding got upset with his friend, but the initial mistake was made by Harding himself. In today's time, Natalie sent a message to Harding even though they had some issues before. They got together, and Harding said sorry. They talked about their experiences. Even though Natalie had plans to go to university, she couldn't because the scholarship got cancelled because of a video. As a result, she had to begin anew and moved to a place where nobody recognized her. Harding started to understand how his mistake affected Natalie and made her go through difficult times. Despite the challenges, now they share meals together. As they finished eating, Natalie inquired about the bet. She had also read Harding's book and knew about both of their stories. Hardy said, I made mistakes in everything. The next day, he goes to meet his friends in the middle after Harding calls him. They also knew about Harding's book. While swimming in the sea, Hardy can't stop remembering Tessa. It's like she's right there with him, and he feels her presence. Even though he's in a different place, he keeps thinking about Tessa. So Hardy sent a message expressing his feelings to Tessa, but she didn't answer. The next day, Hardy and Natalie spent time together talking on a boat. However, Hardy was distracted because he couldn't stop thinking about Tessa. Hardy responded, saying that Harding confessed to Natalie about his struggle to write a second book. He even wondered if his first book was only possible because of Tessa's influence. However, writing that book created distance between Harding and Tessa because he wrote about their relationship without Tessa's approval. Now on YouTube, Harding is reflecting on thoughts about Tessa once again. Later, Natalie and Harding went to a party where a conflict arose between Harding and one of Natalie's friends who knew about their relationship. This disagreement escalated into a physical fight, resulting in Harding getting seriously hurt. 
the police got involved and Harding was taken away. When his father found out, he scolded Harding, questioning his choices of drinking and getting into fights. Harding's father advised him to move on from the situation, expressing concern about the consequences of his actions. Harding said, I'm really trying my best, but I can't let go of Tessa. His father responded, Maybe you and Tessa are meant to be together and things might work out eventually. I understand that you've changed and under these circumstances, we can't meet again. You have to find redemption within yourself. Harding understood this and decided to focus on his book, Quitting Drinking. One day, Natalie came to meet him. Hardy apologized to Natalie, who forgave him. Seeing his sincere efforts to change, Natalie started getting closer to Harding, but he held back because Tessa was still in his heart. Nevertheless, Natalie became a good friend over time. As Hardy completed his new book, he told Natalie that she's a part of it, promising not to repeat past mistakes. He sought Natalie's permission to publish the book. The day after, Hardy goes to his brother's wedding. On the journey there, he asks Natalie if it's okay to attend. At the same time, Tessa is also present at the wedding because she and Hardy used to be close friends. It's been 25 months since Hardy and Tessa last saw each other. Hardy and Tessa feel anxious about meeting again. The wedding makes it seem like Hardy is Tessa's new boyfriend, creating a misunderstanding. Thankfully, this confusion is resolved when Hardy discovers that they are simply good friends. Tessa is actually about to get married somewhere else. Hardin made a plan. First, he gave a small gift to a young child and asked them to invite Tessa to dance. Then, he confidently approached Tessa on the dance floor and took the lead in dancing with her. Hardin felt sorry for causing Tessa trouble, confessing that he had never considered sharing his life like an open book. He apologized to Tessa, but reminded her not to assume things. Even though Tessa had forgiven Hardin before for his past mistakes, he wanted to make sure she understood his feelings. At Harding's brother's wedding, Harding spoke about Tessa in a way that hinted at some things about her. This made Tessa feel uncomfortable, so she left the event. Even though there was a bit of tension, both Harding and Tessa truly loved each other and couldn't imagine being apart. This made them come to terms with each other, and Tessa even apologized for not getting Harding's perspective earlier. Harding said sorry and admitted they both made mistakes. They decided to come back together after recognizing their faults. Harding, speaking very clearly, also said, I can't imagine a minute without you on this earth. At that moment, Tessa asked Harding to marry her. After some time, they got married. They later had a little girl, and Tessa and Harding's story had a happy ending. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep the content flowing. Your support helps us create more awesome movie recaps just for you. Drop a comment letting us know which movie you'd like us to cover next, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.